How you doing, Kate? Yeah, doing good, thank you. Good, good, good. I'm a big, 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 big fan. Um, I'm an instructor. I think you said a moment ago you you were a teacher. Yeah, for and a So it's uh it's interesting because I'm also a big hip hop fan. Yeah. Um, started listening to hip hop around 13 or 14, and literature at the same time. So I'm half nerd, half hip hop head. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I identify with you on that level. Um, so in my one of my classes, we um explored your song "Theme from Becky." Yeah. And um. You know, I, I just, we were talking about privilege at the time. So we had talked about white privilege, we talked about American privilege, and then we were looking at a theme from Becky, and we were talking about male privilege in that song. And we struggled with it a little bit. It was the first time, um, you know, the, your accent, according to us, we had to figure out some words and figure out what we were saying, <laughs> so we figured that out. And then we got through that, and then we were like, okay, so, um, so we think Becky's a sex worker, and like, uh, you know, what, what's that about? Is that a positive choice? Is she liberated woman? Is she, uh, you know, she degraded? How, how do we feel about this? And we were, we were just, we were just so curious, and we explored, and we were, and we just left it there. You know, we just, we had our opinions, and we left it there. And I just, I, I had promised to, you know, come here yeah, tonight and sure. talk to you and ask you. Can you tell me like what, what's up with Becky? Like, <laughs> tell us a little bit more about Becky. What, what you know? Who is yeah. she? Give me yeah, some more about it. I, I got the book. I will read it and I will yeah, sign no, she's, it. She's in here. Okay, I know, but just if you could tell me just yeah. a little bit so I can take it back to my students. So Becky is a sex worker, yeah, and um, she is completely fine with that decision. You know, she's made her decision that this is how she wants to support herself and make her money. She feels safe in that decision and she feels. Uh, empowered she's by an it. artist, I think she's, that's she, important. She is, she's working like this, she's supporting herself, she's a dancer, she wants to, she, she's a dancer, she, wants, she needs to pay for dance classes, which are expensive, and she's mm. trying to move from a kind of commercial dance world into a more kind of creative or contemporary dance setting, which she's finding really difficult. Anyway, within the context of her sex work, which is how she makes her living, it's everybody else that has a problem with it. But there is something interesting, I think. I mean, I believe personally that sex work should be legal. I think that there is so much articulation about women as sex workers, in, but often made by men, about a derogatory term for a woman, you know, for making her money and living that way. What I think is important to say in this context is that for the people at the top of society, they are free to make their money in the most disastrous, mm. dis like immoral, mm. absolutely disgusting ways, but legal, absolutely legal, mm. at the bottom of society when people have got nothing else but their own bodies mm. that is still being controlled by law. The way that you make your money, you're so oppressed that even that is illegal. So how can we have, recently we had this huge scandal where it was revealed, surprise, surprise, that all of the kind of billionaires, top politicians, all these people have got their money in offshore accounts, they're not paying tax in our country, but it's completely legal. They can do whatever the fuck they like because they, they, they own the laws, they've bought the laws, but at the bottom of society, for a woman who needs to support herself, she still has to break the law in order to sustain herself. So there is a, hopefully a message of positive, as they call it, sex positive kind of literary creation in Becky. You know, I hope that people will hear that song and read this chapter and be, and maybe think again before they judge a woman who is using what she has in a safe way as far as she can to support herself, you know? Thank you.